The new Student Recreation and Convocation Center will soon be open for business. It's a 130,000 square foot building built amid the fingers of three wetlands. This will be the Chanticleer's new basketball home. Philip Massey is the project manager. Through more than three and a half decades, Massey has coordinated major projects on campus, including the wall building and Wheelwright Auditorium. He says there's much more to this $25.5 million structure than just basketball. It's a, a beautiful building that should be ready for substantial completion on April the 15th, final completion 60 days later. So we are planning to be moving in it this coming summer and have it ready for uh, probably the first activity we would have in there would be the freshman student orientation uh, process and uh, convocation process as well. The Garvin Design Group out of Columbia and Tim's Architectural Group teamed up to plan this endeavor. Why this site, which is across the campus from the post office near Highway 544? Well, because it's adjacent to the resident halls for easy student access. The whole idea is first to take care of our student needs and recreation, and, uh, and that's what it does. So it is a student recreation building first and foremost with the convocation afterwards. Convocation Center will seat about 3,200 for an event, a, a basketball or an athletic event, but also will seat oh, about 200 more for a graduation should we, we deem it necessary to have it for graduation. The student section of the building includes a massive climbing wall, multi-purpose rooms, a running track, weights and cardiovascular areas, and rooms for intramural sports. There will also be multiple concession stands and a university bookstore. The arena is also equipped with a state-of-the-art sound system for concerts. Massey says he's excited about this project. It would probably be more a uh, little bit on the contemporary side. Coastal Carolina has been mm, Georgian to a certain degree, and certainly this is in no way Georgian, but, uh, but it's, it's such a large footprint of 130,000 square feet that you can't do Georgian very well with 130,000 square feet. So uh, with the mandate again to be green with a lot of outs outside light coming into the building and things like that, it's a completely different facility than we've ever had before at Coastal. The crown jewel of the new arena is the Chanticleer's new basketball home. The new gym is nearly triple in size of Kimball Arena's seating capacity. The Chant's women's and men's locker rooms are still under construction. CCU will enter the court from this door and into the arena. A state-of-the-art facility that includes VIP and presidential suites and two sections that jut out over the arena for extra seating. Massey says this was a massive undertaking. Probably the total number of construction employees at any one given time is probably 250. Uh, at one time the electrician had over 65 employees here working, so I would say uh, with the brick masons and the work that was going on with brick masons, there was one day where at least there were 250 people working on the project. And this will be the new office of head basketball coach Cliff Ellis. And this is the view out of Coach Ellis's new digs. Nothing has been left out, including training rooms for the players and this new media room that will have big screen TVs, Wi-Fi, and all the tools needed to report on CCU athletics. All of it housed in a meticulously designed building. Restroom for the offices, a storage room, and this is the suite of offices for women's basketball. Our food purveyor, Airmark, is providing uh, a uh, open all the time. When the building's open, they will be open all the time with the, the one main concession stand on the concourse. There are other concession stands when we do have an event in the, in the convocation center, but that facility will be open with all kinds of healthy type things, smoothies, uh, all kinds of things that really will make it great for the students' students use. So following this season, it's goodbye to Kimball Arena and hello to the new Student Recreation and Convocation Center.